Hey guys, what's up? Today I have an RU match. This one is against Henry, and uh, looking at his team, he's got a lot of defensive Pokemon, and I'm like, oh, this is going to kind of get annoying. So let's go ahead and start strong. I wanted to lead with my Manectric, but because he has Sand Slash, and he also has Bronzor, I didn't want him to lead with one or the other, and then switch out predicting, you know, the HP Grass or the full Switch or whatever, and I, I didn't want to do that. So I just figure... Let's lead with Moltres. Nothing really stops it. And I can just kind of fire blast. And uh, if he wants to go into his Quillfish, that and an Air Slash should be enough to KO him. Uh, but he switches out to me, his Dust Noir. So I guess I'm a fat ghost with a stupid hat. Um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I hit him with a fire blast. And I burn him, which I, I don't remember the last time I burned someone with a fire blast. I know what's happened to me, but I don't. I can't remember the last time I I have burned something with Fire Blast. Anyways, uh, he goes for Shadow Sneak. I kind of wanted to go for the recover because I figure he's going to go for Shadow Sneak. Or not the recover, Roost. Um, and just let him basically like die to burn and I'd be at full health. But I'm like, eh, what, what if he has like Thunder Punch and doesn't like, you know, Shadow Sneak? Like, whatever. You know, he's probably going to Shadow Sneak and it's not going to do that much damage. So whatever. Uh, I end up air slashing his Quillfish. I also didn't want to stay in, but I'm like, you know what, there's nothing I really need this for except his bronze ore, but I know I can do a ton of damage and he has no recovery, so he's going to have to deal with leftovers, but I burn him too with Flame Body, which is Moltres' Dream World ability if you weren't aware, uh, along with Lightning Rod and Articuno gets, I believe, Ice Body or, or Snow Cloak? Snow Cloak, I think. Um, anyways, I go to a Manectric and I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Grass. I get a crit on top of the two burns. Uh, for those counting at home, which you should all be at home, or well, I guess you could be, you know, watching this on your cellular telephones with all those newfangled things. Anyways, uh, so I switch out to Rhyhorn or Rhydon. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Rock Polish as he protects, because it's fairly obvious, and I'm gonna go for the Stone Edge because I didn't want him doing this and switching into it. So whatever, but I get a second crit. Uh, but I'm going to go for the Mega Horn, and he's actually going to still just barely hang on. And he's going to go for the Trick Room and then the rest. So even if I didn't crit with Stone Edge, he'd take like 75 power less of a hit. But he wouldn't be able to take an extra 120 another Mega Horn. So he'd have to rest anyway. So that one didn't matter. Um, you know, I mean, the one on Dust Noir also was kind of. I mean, it, it helped, but I was still going to 2 it KO him easily. And yeah, I took a little less damage, but I still died to his guy afterwards, um, and, uh, yeah, so, anyways, <clears throat> he's gonna switch out, and I'm gonna switch out to Ferris Seed, I didn't really want him, like, sleep talking, I don't know why I switched, it, that, that was kind of a weird play, but I'm like, eh, I go for Spikes, then I'm gonna switch out to, uh, my Manectric, as I'm thinking he's gonna wanna go into his, uh, uh, Sand Slash to spin them and stuff, and I didn't wanna be, like, fodder. You know, because I can't really do anything else to him anyways. I have Thunder Wave and Leech Seed and Protect. So it's like, meh, whatever. Uh, but he goes for Copycat, and I'm like, alright. And, uh, yeah, so he gets his Heal Belt again, but he already cured the burn on his Quillfish. So it's like, again, you know, the, the burns didn't really matter, and the crits were just kind of hilarious. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to switch out here. I don't know, I, I'm just like, he's going to use Flash Cannon, because he wouldn't use Thunderbolt or Volt Switch. But I'm like, oh crap, right, he has Hidden Power Fire because of Pharaoh Seed, and yeah. But yeah, like I, I barely use Pharaoh Seed, and I figured I could use it, and then of course he brings a Hidden Power Fire Magneton, and I'm just like, fuck, why can't you have HP Ice? Anyways, I switched to Gallade, I'm Scarf, so I know I'm faster than him. I'm going to go for the Close Combat. It's going to easily take out his, like, 1 HP Quillfish. Now he's going to go into Sand Slash because I have minus 1 in, like, Attack, Defense, and Special Defense. I'm not going to stay in. Well, Special Defense wouldn't matter, but, you know. He's going to Stealth Rock. I'm going to go into my Aloma Mola because I figure, unless he Toxics me, which not all Sand Slash have, uh, I'm fine. I'm going to go for the Sculpt. I'm going to get a Crit and a Burn. And at this point, I'm just like, okay, fuck it. I'm Trogdor. Like, seriously, I'm just burninating all the people. Like, like nothing can stand in my way. And it, By the way, if you don't know who Trogdor is, just, just Google it. It's hilarious. Watch the videos. I don't know if you'll be able to find the videos through Google, but um, you should be able to 
or at least find out who he is in the website and it's hilarious so just trogdor right um so he switches out there after he's burned and i have spikes up still because he didn't wrap his spin because he earthquaked i'm gonna switch to glade and then he's gonna copycat i'm like fuck don't burn me with my own skull well sort of and he didn't and then i'm like the first thing that came to my mind was like in soviet russia Trogdor still burns you. You, you. you can't burn Trogdor. Uh, he's going to go with the Protect. I go for Close Combat because he has nothing left to really take Close Combat at all. Like, his Sand Slash dies to Spikes, like I said. And even if he didn't, he died to Close Combat. And even if he didn't, he died to Burn. So it's like, whatever. Uh, he's going to send in this, which uh, is going to live a Close Combat. Also, barely, like the Mega Horn. But he's going to go for the Toxic, which... I don't know what his last move is. I would assume it's Gyro Ball. Because, like, you know, you're already slow as dirt, right? Because he's Trick Room. Um, so, I don't know. I would I would assume he had Gyro Ball, but that was my first defense drop. So, it's like, eh. But he still should have Trick Roomed. Because it is a Trick Room team, I guess, kind of. So, he could have. And then he could have still, you know, gone first, obviously. But, um, I don't know. I guess he just wanted to Toxic me. Just get my sweep-ish down, but I just switch out, so it's not a big deal. I can still switch back in and close combat everything. Uh, I go to ride on. I'm going to go for the Earthquake, and uh, he's going to go for the Wish. I figure here, no point in going for the Rock Polish, so just go for the Earthquake, and he's actually going to predict me to go for the Rock Polish, and then I guess go for the Copycat to get my Earthquake, or, well, no, because he wouldn't, I don't know how Copycat works. Would it have gotten... Rock Polish, or would it have gotten his Wish? It probably wouldn't have been Earthquake either way, because it did copycat Heal Bell, so it doesn't have to be an attack. Anyways, he goes into his Magneton, and I'm thinking, oh, I can take him out with my, you know, Electric-type or my Gallade, but then it's like, he's slow. So I'm like, you're not even Scarfed, I guess your Specs or something, but then a Specs HP Fire on a Pharaoh Seed should do more than that, or maybe it's HP Fighting, or... Ah. I don't really know. I mean, <laughs> either way, like I said, I just, I felt like Trogdor. And, you know, I got, what, three or four crits and, like, three burns, and I didn't get burned that one time, and it was just like, ah, Trogdor, 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 Trogdor. So, yeah, um, you know, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll uh, see you all tomorrow.